Welcome back to the talk tonight. School safety, a national concern, certainly many local schools talking security, gun control, hot issue since uh, December 14th when the Newtown shootings occurred. Syracuse Mayor Stephanie Miner joined us tonight on the talk segment to talk about this and other issues. And uh, we've been waiting for word from Albany that a deal could happen on gun control. But, but what are your thoughts about this, especially since, at least in a budgetary sense, you have, you have some control over the Syracuse School District. Do you think something should be done here locally in addition to what's going on in Albany to change security measures? Well, I think that really gun control, it, the federal government plays a hugely important role. The guns that we find in the streets of the city of Syracuse are from states that don't have as strict gun laws as we do. For example, Ohio, Virginia. We have people coming in and dropping those guns off. But just because it, that's where the perfect solution comes from doesn't mean you don't want a good solution. And what the governor has proposed, banning assault weapons, limiting the cartridges and how many bullets you can have is a great and important first step. You know, we were all kind of horrified, not kind of, we we're all horrified by what happened in Newtown. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are those of us who've been fighting for real meaningful gun control for a long time. And now it seems that we have this moment, this real opportunity. And that's when leadership matters, when you have people come in and take advantage of that so that we can prevent another kind of tragedy. We can make sure that people who are mentally unstable or not healthy don't have access to these kind of weapons that can just cause mass tragedies and really scar our psyches. There's been a lot of talk about uh, arming teachers or other educators within buildings. Is that a good step in the right direction? What kind of changes can we expect to, expect to see in the Syracuse district? You know, I, I think that's just lunacy. I mean, I don't think you stem violence by giving more tools of violence. Uh, I think that we as a community and as a country have to stop and say, wait a second. You're not gonna give uh, arm kindergarten teachers with AK-47s. Uh, we have police officers in the schools. We have them traveling through um, and at different levels. They're kind of differently garbed. And I was at a kindergarten last week and, you know, they talked about the officer. And, um, but what we really need to do is make sure that we take these weapons of mass destruction out of the hands of people who are not, who are not stable and that we say to people, look, you don't hunt with Bushmasters. You don't hunt with assault weapons. And that's just a fallacy to say that you do. And, Every right that we have as Americans, it's guaranteed to us in the Constitution, has a limit to it. There are no absolutes. There's no absolute right to freedom of speech. You can't cry fire in a crowded theater. There's no absolute right to bear arms, to have Bushmasters and have them do the kind of mass destruction and the mass killing. I think we as Americans have said enough. Let's solve this problem. It's interesting. You're, a lot of what you're saying is the same as that. what the district attorneys have said, including Bill Fitzpatrick. So you guys are agreeing on that point. Let me talk about another issue here. He's He's been accusing the police department of not acting properly during interrogations, uh, that they've gone too far when defendants have asked for an attorney. You said you're going to uh, talk to the Department of Justice about that. Where does that stand and what are your thoughts about that? Uh, we have, look, we have a fantastic uh, police chief in Frank Fowler. He is doing a great job. He's one of the toughest jobs in the city of Syracuse, if not the toughest. He's a man of in tremendous integrity. This is a, a real gray area in the law and because it's such an important right that people have, we've said we want an independent third party to come in and look at it. So we're in discussions with the Department of Justice and you know, I, I think that there's an appropriate way to handle these kind of matters because it's such a gray area and uh, you know, going into the media and splashing it around I don't think is the most productive way to handle it and I don't think that it's been productive to have these kind of accusations passed back and forth because ultimately what we need to do is make sure that we are arresting people who are committing crimes and we are putting them in jail when it's appropriate and we're putting them in jail for the length of time it's appropriate. Um, and so we have been looking into it and researching it and making sure that there's no systemic plot, if you will, to deny people their Fifth or Sixth Amendment rights. Have um, you found any evidence that there is such a thing at this time? We have not. In fact, and we've been looking at it and we've asked again, you know, to make sure it doesn't look like it's self-serving, we've asked an independent entity to come in and look at us because again, we think we're doing the right thing. In fact, we know we're doing the right thing. So let have, we'll open it all up. Anybody who wants to come and look at it, come and look at it. And then just quickly on a positive note, a big uh, announcement tomorrow, Tops is gonna be coming into the north side on Pond Street, which is welcome news to the neighbors out it's, there. It's fantastic news. Uh, you know, it was devastating when Wegman said they were gonna pull out. We've been very fortunate in the city of Syracuse that we've been able to sort of reverse the trend of grocery stores moving out of cities. You had a Tops move into the valley. We have a price rate on Erie Boulevard. And now, most especially importantly, in the north side, tomorrow we'll be doing the grand opening. It's important for that neighborhood, the pedestrians, the refugees, the immigrants, and it's important for a healthy lifestyle, and it is vital 
for cities to have neighborhood grocery stores. So I can't say enough about how good Tops has been to work with, how they've really stepped in. Um, the neighbors in, in the north side have been great to work with. And we found that we were a united voice. And when we spoke in a united way, that we were able to have Tops come and say, yeah, we want to be there. We want to be in the city of Syracuse. And so uh, very important to me personally, very important to me professionally, and I think most importantly, very important to the people of the north side. Yeah. So tomorrow's going to be a great day. We will look forward to seeing you there. I will be mayor, there with, with bells there. on, as they say. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. That, Thank I you. Know, that'd be a good picture. The mayor <laughs> with bells on. Coming up next in our talk tonight.